Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about one concept of launching one power app from another app. So there are many scenarios where you want to utilize existing app and just uh, launch another app from your newly created app. So I'll demo that scenario. So for that, I would be taking help of, help of uh, one product sales list. So over here, I've created one product sales list into SharePoint, which is showing the products printer camera laptop and their product type price and all that so that would be taken example of the main list where i would be showing all these product categories into one one of my power app and then i would be creating one separate product details uh, power app canvas app which would be showing the details of each and individual products so that power canvas app we are going to launch from our main product catalog app using parameters so I am over here into my Power App Studio and I would be going to create one blank app and that app actually let me just click on the SharePoint one because we have want to connect that directly to SharePoint and I'll choose the existing connection to my SharePoint and choose my site and this product sales list. I am going to use this list it will automatically create the gallery component with the connected data source so we'll just wait for that right we have this gallery so right now if you see like if I zoom out then you would be seeing that the gallery shows the, all the items and on the arrow we have this select parents which will show the details or something about the form in this uh, standalone application itself but what I want to have is like I want to launch on click of this button this arrow icon a new app so I'll go to my power app studio again so I'll just say and I will show you one of the app which I have already created for uh, the product details so I'll just show that so this is my product detail app which will show the that there are number of screens on this app so I'll just add it so that you can see so it has a couple of screens which shows the exact uh, the product details so for camera it shows the details for camera and in screen 2 I have the details for laptop so we are going to launch these details pages once a person clicks on arrow so that means like I would like to see the details of my camera the cap laptop printer so I would be using this isolated canvas app to show the details and over here I can just click on this so you can see like I'm using I am reading the parameter to show like what product is this using param function and this product is the navigation query query parameter which we are going to pass from our existing app so that I'm going to show and how I am going to decide like what should be shown like which screen should be shown like if I click on this camera then camera screen should be shown if I click on this uh, uh, the laptop then laptop details screen should be shown so using that using param action we are going to decide like which product we are looking at so there could be like 10 more screens showing the details of each product so based on parameter we can decide like which screen to pick and how to pick so that we are going to have on our this app start screen property so I am going to write one simple formula so before that like we are going to write a simple formula for launching this app into from this so let's do that so instead of on select I'm removing this on select as parent and I'm going to use launch and launch in launch I'm going to use this my app ID so you need to uh, actually like go to your studio power app studio and extract the ID of your app which you want to launch so there could be two ways of launching one would be directly into your power app so let me just go to this detail screen to extract the app ID so if you want to launch that into power app itself then copy this app ID and save that into your notepad so I've already done that yep and if you wish to like open that power app into a web link then you can just copy this web link URL and as well can paste very well paste into this launch so we are going to do that using power app so I'm going to use that app ID and with the app ID I have to append some of the things. So I have to append this provider microsoft.powerapps.com apps in front of my this app ID and copy this entire one and go to my 
power app and then paste this URL whatever we have constructed into this on select and the second parameter is the the parameter which we want to pass on to our screen so that can be put into if you want to pass on multiple parameters you can put that into curly braces and simply says that like uh, the parameter probably I would say product because we are going to read the product yes the, the parameter name is product so we are going to use product and product would be this item dot title because we are going to based on this title we are going to decide which thing to be picked which screen to be picked so this is the launch with the app id and the product the cat the parameter would be product and the product would be title so on select whatever we are selecting would be passed as parameter on the screen so i am just going to save it simply and publish this one so i'll just name that as catalog product and save it and publish this so now it's published and now we will go back to our project details where as I already told you that uh, if I wish to display the title over here I just need to use the param action and with that parameter which we are passing and the same on the screen to param product so whatever product is there like will be listed as header but which screen to pick that we are going to uh, decide from start screen so earlier there was a property on on start where we used to we can also able to write like to navigate to the screen but now it's restricted the start screen property is specifically uh, to choose like which screen you want to actually like a uh, launch when this uh, particular app is being run so in this we are going to write one if statement if parameter product is i mean we are going to create one switch statement like if product uh, parameter is camera then it should la launch the screen one I can simply say screen one and again like once if statement if param equal to my this laptop then I would be going to launch my screen two. So this simple if statement I've used to decide like which screen I should be launching and I'm just saving it. So now I am going to go to my app studio to run my this app which we just created as catalog products. Go to all apps and then running my this app play and I will select these individual and this is launching my new app you can see like this app is being launched and the parameter lastly it's appended as product as camera we can have multiple parameters to decide like who is the current user we can also pick like based on uh, user if you wish to like uh, switch something so you can as well drive that if i click on this laptop then it's launching the app as laptop but the screen is not being changed and the reason let's see what's the reason because probably in both the screen both the ifs condition we have placed that as in screen one let's see so we just updated this condition that parameter product equal to laptop then we are saving it and then publishing this one and now we will run the app from our main app the catalog products and then expecting this details app to show to launch based on the parameter so let's just do that I'm clicking on this camera so now camera details page is coming up if I'm clicking on this laptop then I'm expecting a laptop page and if I go to the parameters you could see like this product is being appended uh, as a parameter and you can very well read that so this is an example where like uh, both the applications are built uh, separately but we still want to use based on the parameter pass to these applications the power app canvas apps and you can very well use this so this was useful for me so i hope like this is useful for you too so that's it for today thank you